I want to remember where we came from and know where we're going. I want to get to know you all over again. 12 years ago, it, it started with a napkin. It was a, a dinner, um, myself, Tasir, Craig, Dr. Pasha, and Mr. Wally. Well, it started when we were in California and you know we invested in a project there. We were all sitting down and uh, we were really trying to uh, conceptualize this idea of, um, of a medical center that would incorporate primary care physicians, surgeons, and specialists. Well, again, Dr. Pasha was very concerned. It was a few months prior to us opening. At the time, everybody was, was shooting ideas, trying to, get, trying to get it together. And he said, listen, we're, we need to capture the primary care physician to capture them and to empower them. I remember it was there was so many napkins on the table. Everybody was jotting down what they could and, and uh, what they were thinking about. So I came up with an idea to, you know, with a model that would empower the physician. We, we sat down and, and pieced it all together, um, including this, the structure of the first center, how it would flow, uh, the numbers that were associated with it. I know Tassir was very uh, adamant on remembering each number that, that was brought up in the meeting. That night, I think around 2 in the morning, I, I finished it. I was like, I was just got out of the shower, I thought about it, and I called the crew then. I was driving to Sugarland. it was probably about 3 in the morning, and Tassir was on the phone with me, and, and he's, he works better at night, or he just, he just works better. That's, it's, and he came up with this whole concept of, we need to involve more doctors in this project. And I had it, and um, he still has that piece of paper today. So we sat there and we thought about uh, different things and, and I know one of the concepts that came out was, was the, the mountain peak. It was a night that was uh, rough on cruise. I remember uh, Pasha basically being very aggressive with him in a modest way I'm saying and said, you can't do it. And, um, and I remember telling Cruz that no, we are going to do it. And uh, at that point, you know, Altus made a lot of sense. It, it was it defined where we were going, it defined us as a, as a group. It made a statement because we knew now what we could take out to these physicians and what we could talk to them about when we were trying to recruit them to become part of the, uh, uh, the whole Altus network that we created. One memorable moment I remember is when Tassir and I met at uh, Einstein's Bagel Shop and uh, when we were trying to flush out the idea of, of Altus. And I remember writing on a piece of paper the idea of not only including surgeons at the time, which is standard, but also pioneering and including primary care doctors and, and this whole idea of, of a real estate model and a management model. And I wish I had that piece of paper. It would have been, it's a treasure because we outlined the whole concept of Altus at that time, right on that small napkin or piece of paper that we had at the time. It was Pasha, myself, Tassir, of course, and Shaheen that came together on a nightly basis and came up with different ideas. And it grew and grew and grew, and now it's gone far beyond my most wildest dreams. <laughs> There's probably a lot of them, but I guess one of the ones that I remember is when uh, I first met the guys from Altus, you included, uh, and we went out to an area and they told me, Dwayne, you got to believe this is going to be a big building out here one day. You got to believe. And I remember looking at y'all and y'all had on uh, kind of worn out blue jeans and sandals on and I wondered if I was throwing my life away. Of course it was wrong. So at that point, um, a few of us, um, myself, uh, Dr. Badar, uh, Tasir, and Dr. Pasha, we set up a dinner at Michelangelo's and um, we had about 15 or 20 people show up to this dinner and by the end of the night we had collected about um, two or three million dollars and that's how basically Altus was started. We spent a lot of nights um, going over the different names and uh, there was a lot of arguments between the four of us uh, but I think we're happy with the name that we chose and uh, the rest is history. Look at this skin. Can you get any skin better than this? Look at this hair. Woo! Mama babe. <laughs> He's also a man of high fives and frappuccinos. <laughs> I am very proud to say 
that guys if you are looking for a person that can do things right that can do the job that can empower you guys that can keep you from falling into hospitals that can keep you from getting bought out this is the man Tasir Badar and his team of guys by the way these guys usually meet on Tuesdays they have their meetings till about 3 o'clock in the morning something you didn't know but I'm telling you that thank you have a nice day like such clear skin it's like clear cell like a Noxzema commercial like contacts you could just the size of them you could just stick in here like the see the nose here inside there like a freaking planet just want to just just hug you here beautiful just beautiful fall in love with us again fall in love with us again fall in love with us again right there you go fall in love with us again fall in love with us again come fall in love with us again to see actually no oh sorry oh oh my god oh he's, he's much better now we want you to all fall in love with us again and again and again.